All right. Right now, I want to talk to you a little bit about the computer of the SSL. The SSL has two functions right now. As I told you before, right now we are into our computer. If we press this encoder over here, we go back into our timecode displayed into our project. I'm going to go ahead and press SSL. So what I'm going to do right now is to normal my console. By doing so, I'm going to select my project and I'm going to go where it says template. I'm going to cover this in a little bit. From my template here, I have two options, either mixing mode or tracking mode. I'm going to go ahead and just simply select mixing. Then I'm going to go where it says TR, total recall. Click on select, press the encoder to select the project, click on channel, and double click on all. And as you can see right now, the console has been fully normaled. Let's pretend that few tracks were not normaled. So what I could do right now is go on all. I can go on select all. And everything apparently has been normaled. But there are a couple of tracks that we have messed up. Now if I press on scan, second encoder here, it's gonna tell me that channel one is not being matched. Not matched. As a matter of fact, there is this little icon here. And we can divide this into four different sections. So we have the matrix, the filters, the EQ, and the fader. So I'm gonna go and see what's going on here. Channel 1 was my post. As you can see, my channel 2, now we'll flip to channel 2 here. And again, on channel 2, I have a couple of rotary encoders which are not matched. Channel 3, again, not matched. So I'm going to follow and it's the fan. We have also this in post. Five, same thing. Okay. Channel eight is not matched. Let's see what is that we have. We have our encoder here. Channel nine again is in post. Channel ten is in post. And again we have our pan that needs to be repositioned. Channel eleven as well. Channel twelve, thirteen. And the 13 has a couple of other things that can go well. All right. 16, what is that we want? Now, finally, we are at channel 20, and channel 20 is telling us that there are a few things within the overall blue color of our palette that needs to be matched. So what I'm going to do is go on channel 20, channel 20, and this is my filter. And as you can see right now that I'm bringing this back and matched up with the blue. I have as well my filter over here. And as well, this guy over here. Plus, we have this button over here that is now matched. Channel 21, again, we are in post fader. Channel 22, what is it we have? This, okay. All channel match, no match control. All right, now we are 100% sure that our board is being fully matched. Now let's say I'm working on a project. So this is my default mix project. I'm gonna do a couple different moves. All right, I'm gonna move here. I will engage this EQ and I will engage this other EQ and this other EQ over here. Okay, 
So a thing you could do could be to store your own setup. As a matter of fact, a really important thing that we don't do here is to override the template. So first and foremost, I will move back over here, go to templates, and underneath here, you can actually see different types of names. I'm going to go to the name that says Mateo, because this is where I store all my projects. And I could actually store this as a new title. As you can see here, I have title 54. We don't like titles that have no meaning. So what I'm going to do is to actually go into my app, into my computer, so I'm going to go to this app, the AWS 924, and as you can see here, this is pretty much the computer of our SSL. So I can go into my folder, title 24, and I can call it Ciao. So we have store our channel. But let's say right now I'm going to do some couple of moves. Now, a cool thing you want to do is to go where it says TR, total recall. And what you want to do is move on select and you want to store. So right now I've taken a snapshot of my console the way it is, but maybe right now I want to create another different type of balance and another different queue. So I could do, I could store this as well. But let's say I want to go back to what I had before. Well, I can move my rotary encoder, click on it, so I have selected, can go in channel, all, and this is my first state that I have of my mix. But maybe I like the second state. Well, I can go again, select, total recall, select, channel, all, double click. And there I have it. Let's say I want to recall another project. I can go again on project. This new project is called SSL. I select that, total recall. Select, channel, double click on all, and the console moves across all the different type of snapshots you have taken through your mix.